Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Great to see the Celebrating Act 2 audience again, and we have uh, another special day with Bill Jordan. Ta-da! Bill. Bill, good to see you. Hey, good Bill. To see you. Uh, great to see you guys. You know, uh, we're in, Art and I are in Southern California, and uh, the weather is pretty nice here all year long, so we can grill anytime. But I was talking to some friends back on the East Coast, and they pointed out that it's weather's getting nicer. They're going to break open the grill. And I thought to myself, break it open. When, when did grilling become this man thing? You know, <laughs> this, the guys have to have their forks and their spatulas and their. Talk to me about grilling. Are you a are you a griller? Uh, yes and no. And you'll probably want me to explain that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing. Yes, yes. Explain. I'm looking I'm looking out right now on my back deck. I'm looking at our Weber grill. Uh, we've gone through so many gas grills. I got tired of replacing the clickers or you go to grill and you you know your tank is out of gas and then you forgot to look, you know get the spare when we're going. So I just like charcoal. I like the taste of charcoal. Uh, here's my situation with grilling. If my wife is out of town, say for example up in Virginia visiting family or something, I have got no problem going to the store and buying myself a ribeye or a sirloin and slapping that puppy on there or uh, burgers or whatever. I've got no problem doing that whatsoever. Um, but when she's here, she is very particular about how she wants her steak done or hamburger done. Therefore, I let her do it. If I'm out there and I get distracted by something on TV and I burn half of the steak, I eat it anyway because I'm that cheap. I'm not going to throw it away. <laughs> so I can I I I can grill. I'm not as uh, as good and as proficient as many guys I know who are like you know they are the grill meister. You know it's their grill and that's manland and all that. I'm not that. I think. Uh, if she she would she won't let me. Here's the thing. I'll say to her, "Hey, you know, I can whip us up uh, some scrambled eggs. Would you like some of my scrambled eggs?" And she'll say, "Well, we'll see." Uh, hey, you know, I can grill us up a couple of steaks tonight. Well, we'll see. She does not believe. My wife does not believe that I survived for a week prior to marriage by cooking for myself, but I can. Now, years ago, when I was on the air, uh, I bought a book. I still have the book. I've got to study it. It's The Complete Idiot's Guide to Cooking for Guys. Oh, and I, I brought it up on the air that, hey, I bought this book, Complete Idiot's Guide, Cooking for Guys. And our producer looked at me on the air and said, why do you want to cook for guys? <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, I, I, there's a lot she's got to teach me. She'll still teach me stuff about the, the oven. You know, it's like, oh, there's a, you turn it to the left, that's the small burner. You turn it to the right, that's the big burner. It's like, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to boil some eggs for hard boiled eggs is all I'm trying to do, right? <laughs> so I, I, that is, that is one of my goals uh, in this year is to get a little more proficient about some of that stuff. But uh, to answer, that's a long answer to your question. Can I grill and all that stuff? Yes, I can. Do oh, I yeah. often? Only if she's out of town. But the other what? the other part of the question is is that uh, we can grow year round because uh, we basically have moderate weather. Right. Uh, Where we live in at least I live in Southern California, uh, it rains two or three days, and I don't have a covered patio. So uh, uh, you know, unless I wear have an umbrella, I'm going to get wet. But literally, unless it's raining, uh, it doesn't matter if it's really cool out. Um, we can grill 20. As a matter of fact, when we moved into our, our current house, I had uh, a gas line uh, extended from the house, from the stove to the uh, patio, so that I didn't have to go and get uh, refills, didn't have to worry about oh, them great. coming out. And But you're, you have a more uh, uh, wintry climates. Uh, you even get things like snow and ice every so often. Where you are. We do get snow and ice, but that's another reason to have a grill because when we have ice, uh, particularly, it's not unusual to lose power. So, oh, so do you grill? Uh, oh, but on a regular basis, do you grill uh, during the uh, winter months? Yes. Or? Yes. You do. Good. Good yeah. for you. 
That's no big deal. I mean, you know, I mean, if it's 20 degrees out, we may not grill, but if it's 40 and above, maybe, uh, and, you know, she's picked up or I've picked up a couple of steaks at the store. Yeah, we'll put them out there. I mean, because we don't cook them long. I mean, you know, we like them, uh, you know, medium rare as far as a steak and medium for a hot dog for us. Uh, she would actually like it just to just slap it on there and flip it over and bring it in. I mean, uh, she likes it that rare. I like it cooked a little bit anyway. But uh, no, we, we grill uh, all the time, virtually year round. Mm -hmm. Well, there's another level to grilling, and that's barbecue. The guys who are really into barbecue. Yeah, they slathery, are. Let me tell you, slathery let me tell you so. let me let me let me tell you this. When I left radio, I was invited by a good friend of mine to take a barbecue judge, a barbecue judging class, and to be certified as a barbecue judge. Wow. Now I was around some people who are really into this. If you think I'm going to put myself in a barbecue competition as a judge, <laughs> you are insane. I don't think I would survive getting to the car. <laughs> These people take it real serious. And you're in open carry state, right? <laughs> we are in an open carry state. So um, uh, I just, I mean, they are serious and... I can't handle that kind of pressure. Yeah, yeah, me I neither. But I, I am a judge when people say you're not supposed to judge others, and I'm saying, but I am a judge. But John, are you a, are you a, a, a barbecuer? A barbecuer? You mean like with the sauces and stuff? Yeah, John. No, there's there's guys who. Oh, there's John. Yeah, oh, John. No, we just. No, no, no. I I I'm the guy who somehow bought into this idea that. Barbecue, not barbecuing, grilling is for guys. Uh -huh. So I just assume it must be in my DNA. I go out there and I throw the stuff on the grill and it either burns or it's undercooked, you know, <laughs> wh whatever. So I I'm not the guy who can grill. I like to think I am. But uh, you get a 50-50 shot of getting good food after I grill it. So Well, I am fascinated by guys I know that post uh, videos of like Traeger grills and uh, there's a master built charcoal gravity grill where you, I mean, yeah, you can set, I mean, you, you, you run it with your phone. It's an app. You change the temperatures and, and these guys yeah. smoke meats and they open that lid, man. It's like, oh man, I want to do that. Yeah. So I am, I am, these grills are 500 bucks. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this though, just as a, a little compliment to our our patio, you know, keep the social security checks coming and I'll start carving away little chunks of it for a grill. A really right. fancy, something real nice. I, I want you to invite us <laughs> for barbecue when, when the weather gets nicer. Okay. And also okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, uh, which I'm going to ask you to uh, help guide me because uh, I'm only there like every three weeks. So sometimes I, I forget where the dots are, but uh, I'm looking for you to add to your philosophies that uh, you are a briquette man. I mean, I am what, I'm you're what? A, a charcoal briquette man. Okay? Oh, yes. You're just you're yes. you're not like a, a natural gas dude or no. a firewood or uh, electric starters. You're you're probably a fluid and uh, charcoal briquette guy. Yeah, I am, and sometimes use a little too much uh, starter fluid. Yeah, well, I yeah. love it. I that's that's my barbecue. <laughs> I, I get the taste of starter fluid and everything. Yeah. As opposed to smoking. Yeah. Okay. Smoking. So, uh, by the way, just because we're getting a little older, uh, help reviewers, where can they go to find out all things Bill Jordan? Uh, well, I've got a public page on my Facebook page, and it's uh, you look at Bill Jordan, uh, J O R D A N, spelled like my cousin Michael. And you'll see a picture of this mug right there, and uh, you can just follow along. And it's not all uh, baby boomer stuff. I, you know, there's just observations I make as I go about my day, and then there's funny memes, and there's philosophy, and there's a little bit of everything. I try to drive it like I do with the Embrace the Boom to the late great uh, NC State basketball coach Jimmy Valvano, who said, "If you laugh, think, and cry every day." You've had a heck of a day. You do that for a life, you're going to have a heck of a life. So I try to move people emotionally, laughter, making them think, or in fact, making them cry sometimes. A good cry, emotion shows that we're alive. So 
that's kind of what I'm about. So YouTube channel is Embrace the Boom. Facebook page is Bill Jordan. Look for the Embrace the Boom mug on that picture. And my website is Bill Jordan, Embrace the Boom.com. Links to all those videos and the practices. And also, if you want to buy uh, one of these mugs, handy dandy, uh, nice gift for the baby boomer in your life as well. Bill, we, uh, we love your philosophy. We love your outlook on life. And uh, here's to embrace the boom. There we go, We're guys. There. Thank you for having me again. Live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.